it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So we are doing a speed build today and a big part of the reason why is because a lot of y'all have been asking me to tour Calico and as much as I do want to show you my island, it is so far from being finished. So speed builds definitely hold me accountable to really just completing my island and putting the pedal to the metal. And today we are decorating outside of Nan's house. Now Nan is one of, if not my absolute most favorite normal villager. I think she's so cute and so sweet. And I don't see her too terribly often on other people's islands, but I absolutely love her. And the reason that we are decorating her island is because in my little mailbox outside of my house, I got this following message. It says, I've always dreamed about living inside a library. I picture myself surrounded by shelf after shelf of books stacked up to the ceiling. In a home like that, it's possible I'd never run out of reading material. And that was from Nan. So of course, I'm giving her a library. I mean, I wanted to put an outdoor library on my island in some form or fashion, but really getting that little card in the mail from her kind of solidified it for me. I figured let's give her exactly what she wants. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy kind of what I've put together as this little library yard for her. If you guys are new to my channel, first and foremost, welcome. I'm super happy that you're here. Make sure to subscribe for new Animal Crossing videos that I put out every Wednesday and Friday. With that said, you guys, I will pop in for commentary here and there on the speed build, but for the rest of it, enjoy the video. that we are actually pretty close to Olive's house, which is that beige ivory colored one in the corner. And if you have seen my other speed build of Olive's yard, don't worry, I'm still going to remake that area. Uh, I just happened to make that video before I flattened my island, but I still wanna give Olive essentially the same beekeeping farm. So I'm not gonna refilm that particular video, but if you guys have any ideas for uh, Tad's house or Agnes's house, so I have left to kind of decorate their yard. Those are the two main ones. Um, I ended up giving Pearl a little orchard. I wanted her to kind of be in charge of that area. Uh, Grizzly, as you know, has his fishing spot. Bo has his um, farm to table area. So if you guys have any ideas for villager yards or even just speed builds that I could be doing, let me know. I'm definitely looking for inspiration and it helps me out a ton. <laughs> chairs that I'm customizing. I did want to use the same pattern as the blanket that I just put down. And if you guys are curious about any of the custom codes I'm using, I will make sure to put them in the description box. So that way you can download them for yourself. 
For the main flooring though, that's just the in-game wooden path, uh, mostly because you can layer custom codes on top of the in-game paths, but unfortunately you can't layer custom codes on top of one another. Um, I'm pretty sure Nintendo just thinks we would be way too powerful, so that's why you can't do it. Uh, with that said, I really wanted this area to feel homey, you know? I wanted it obviously to feel studious, like a library, but I also wanted it to feel like it's her home. That whole postcard she sent said, imagine having a house that's a library filled with tons of books. So even though this is a shared community area uh, for everyone, since it's outdoors, I still wanted it to feel like it's very personal to Nans, which is why I added the fencing and put these street lamps there as well, uh, just so it really encapsulates that homey feeling. all of these items. I knew exactly the items I wanted to use. Like I wanted these log chairs, I wanted the fireplace, I wanted the barrel, uh, and obviously the books. But it took me quite some trial and error to really figure out the layout of all of these items, if it made sense. So, you know, never get down on yourself if you think you have this vision and it doesn't play out exactly how you want because it really is a lot of trial and error. Sometimes things that you imagine will look a certain way end up looking totally different. trying to place items there. It just kept giving me so much grief. I 
I'm assuming it's because of the hedge fencing, just the way I have it placed. Um, it, nothing wanted to fit there and look like, I don't know. It, it didn't, the, the aesthetic was off for me is what I'm trying to say. So I ended up leaving it blank and I actually off camera just put down some custom uh, clovers on top of the wood just to kind of fill up that space. And I felt like eh, it ended up looking all right. But I really wanted to fill out that corner, which maybe I'll just have to play with another time. Because every time I move something over there, it just didn't feel quite right. It just felt a little bulky. I don't know, but obviously struggled with that spot. Um, but you know what? Like I said, trial and error. It's a part of the fun of this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this little library I made for Nan. Uh, hopefully she likes it too. She did ask for it, so I am in high hopes that she will be enjoying this little area for herself. <laughs> With that said, you guys, I hope you are having a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.